Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a huge pop unboxing and basically it's really crazy because this huge box here I got from EB Games Canada or it's basically the Canadian equivalent of GameStop. They're owned by the same people. I basically got 21 pops for only $25. That's under a $1.50 per pop. And honestly, I like doing that first pop video so much that I really couldn't wait to do another one. And also all the positive comments you guys left, I really couldn't wait. Now here's how we're going to do this. I'm going to open up this box. We're going to look at the pops three at a time. With 21 pops, I won't be able to do the whole showcase unboxing thing like I do when I'm going to do my monthly pop in a box videos. So I'm still going to give you guys some close up views of all the pops, but we're going to be leaving them in the box. However, something I didn't do in the first video and I'm going to do in this one and I'm also going to do in all the future videos is I'm going to price all the pops on Pop Price Guide just so we can get a rough idea of how much value we're getting for only $25. Now I know Pop Price Guide isn't, you know, a hard set price. I'm going to use the median price, basically the average price for each pop, but it's just to give us a rough estimate of, you know, like I said, what we're getting for our money. Now, I do know which pops are in this box, so this is a mystery box. Uh, I did have to choose the pops. However, they do let you know that you could get variants without knowing. And I know ahead of time that none of these pops are probably going to be chase or really rare pops in any way, form or fashion. But you know what? For the price they're selling them at, it's a deal I just couldn't say no to. So now, let's get this box open. Okay, so now with the box open, let's start with the first three pops. So the first three pops I got are all from the original Fallout series. Uh, you have the Vault Dweller, who we have two of the Vault Dweller male, one with the Nuka-Cola bottle, the other one with the Mentats, and we have the female Vault Dweller. Now the female Vault Dweller goes for about five bucks. We have the male Vault Dweller with the Mentats that goes for about six. And lastly, we have the male Vault Dweller with the Nuka Cola that goes for a whopping $7. Not a bad start and pretty good looking pops overall. Now let's grab the next three. So the next three are from the Shazam movie series. And we have Darla, Eugene, and Pedro. We have Darla that generally goes for a decent $7. We have Pedro that unfortunately goes only for a really low $4. And lastly, we have Eugene at, once again, a decent $6 mark. Once again, these aren't gaming pops, but I find that they're really nice pickups, especially for under $1.50. Now there's no stopping now, let's go for the next three. So the next three come to us from the Captain Marvel movie series. And we have Yon Rogue. We have the young Nick Fury, and we have Verz. Now in these three, Yon Rogue goes for about $6. We also have Nick Fury going for about $6, and we have Verz going for 5 Once again, these aren't gaming-centric pops, but they were nice to add to the collection. I find they look really nice, and, you know, once again, I, I just can't say it enough for, like, under $1.50, how can you say no to these? Now guys, don't tune out because I just saw two things in this box that are surprises. Surprises to you and surprises to me. And when we're going to get to them, I will be really happy. So stay tuned. And you know what? I think I'm going to keep those last two for the end. Yeah. So let's grab the next three. And no, this isn't the surprise. I knew this one was coming, but value-wise, I thought it was going to be the best value pop I was going to get. So we have Carol Danvers on her motorcycle. We have Maria Rambo. I think it's Rambo, right? Yeah. And lastly, we have Talos, all once again from the Captain Marvel movie series. So in these three pops, uh, both Talos and Maria go for $6 each. But Carol Danvers on her motorcycle goes for a whopping $17. Now, I know this isn't a Chase crazy priced pop figurine, but for the price I paid for it, you know what? A $17 pop value for $1.30, pretty darn good. Now, let's keep going with the next three. So, in the next three, 
We have Zack without his helmet from the Power Rangers. We have Mary once again from the Shazam movie. And we have Freddy from the Shazam movie. Now in these three pops, both Freddy and Mary are only worth $5. However, Zack on the other hand is worth a decent $10. And honestly, I'm a huge fan of the original Power Rangers series. So really getting this figure was really, you know, a big one for me because Zack was one of my favorite Rangers. So honestly, I'm really not disappointed with this one. Now we're going to do four this time because like I said, I want those two surprises there at the end. So let's do four and then we're going to do the two special ones. So, the next ones, we have the Vault Dweller, but this is the Fallout 76 edition. We also have a Guanji from the Smallfoot animated movie. We also have a Yes from Ralph Breaks the Internet, the animated movie. And lastly, we have Amanda Holiday from the Destiny series. So surprisingly, the Vault Dweller from the Fallout 76 series is the most expensive of the Vault Dwellers. This one is worth $8. Uh, very surprisingly, the Guanji figurine from Smallfoot is worth nine. Yes, from Rec Ralph Breaks the Internet is actually the lowest priced figurine at five dollars in this series. And Amanda Holiday comes in at seven dollars. Now we're at those last two figures and there's one that actually seems to be a mistake but it seems like a really good mistake. So I actually need to price it so I just need a couple of seconds. Okay, so I got that price correction. Now let's take a look at the two surprises. So these are the last two pops from the box. And both of them are really, really nice surprises. Uh, this Tommy Power Rangers pop was actually supposed to be a Trini, the Yellow Ranger. However, uh, it's simply because she was the only one on the list of price drops. Tommy wasn't there, but I got a Tommy instead, which is the Green Ranger and actually... If I said Zack was one of my favorite, Tommy is my favorite ranger from the original series, the Green Ranger with the Dragon Zord. And honestly, it's a really nice surprise because he's worth double what Trini was supposed to be worth. Trini was one of the cheapest Power Rangers pops and she was only worth five bucks. Tommy is worth 10. So honestly, a really nice surprise there. And last, when I started this video, I said we weren't supposed to have any chase pops but we actually got one. This Louis uh, Tailspin uh, Pop actually has two variants, and this is the Chase variant. Basically, it's the color of his shirt that is modified. Uh, in the traditional one or the common one, his shirt is green. In the Chase variant, his sh shirt is purple. And this actually means that because he has a purple shirt, he has a value of $13 rather than just $8. So actually it's a really nice surprise because I didn't pay any more for these two than I did any of the other pops. Hey everyone, here we are. This is everything we got for only $25. It's insane to think that all of these pops, 21 different pops only cost $25. Now, by the way, I did the math and if we add up the average value of all these pops on a pop price guide, it actually works out to $153 US. That is just insane. Now, I forgot to mention it earlier in the video, but I am not sponsored in any form or fashion by either EB Games Canada, uh, GameStop, or anybody. I just came across this deal myself surfing their website. And as of filming of this video on uh, March 11th, it's actually still up there, it's still available, but as some of these different pops are sold out now. So if you go on their website, you check for the deal that is three pops for $5 Canadian. Once we convert that to American, it's about $3.50 for three pops. And if we do the math, like I said, it works out to roughly $25 for all 21 of these pops. So I hope you guys are liking these pop videos. It's not the main focus of my channel. My main focus is Nintendo Switch Gaming. But I've gone a little bit crazy in pop collecting and I wanted to share it with all of you out there. So if any of you out there are really liking these new pop videos, please don't forget to hit that like button to let me know. You can even leave in the comments positive comments. I got some on the previous video and that's why I'm, I wanted to do a follow-up as soon as possible. 
Now I think that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. I just wanted to share with you how fast my pop collection is growing thanks to this huge incredible deal that I found. So as I just said, don't forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe if you aren't already and don't forget to activate that notification bell so you're aware of when my videos come out. And as in every one of my videos, I really thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next one.